Morning everyone and happy new year. It's January and I want to focus on a winter species. So what I have in mind is the red squirrel. Now the red squirrel is best uh, to spend some time with in the winter months, I think, because that's when their kind of ear tufts look the best. Um, they shed their shed their fur during the summer months, so they don't look as as nice. So, so this is a good time to focus a bit of time on them. As you can see maybe behind me here, it's quite bright. The sun is about to come up. I've been out now just trying to get a few silhouette shots of them, but they haven't been very cooperative, so not much luck. Let's go back to the car, get the gear that we need, and let's go up and put a hide up. been in contact with a red squirrel group and they pointed me to this location up here which as an artist actually feeds the red squirrels up here so I got permission to put up a hide just across here from the, in the field right next to me you don't really need a hide to take photos of the red squirrels here because they're quite used to being fed here so they're very tame so I was out here yesterday managed to get Plenty of photos of the red squirrel up on this side of the wall. But, what I want to do is I want to get in on the other side and basically sit amongst them where on their passageway. And it should allow me to introduce even more depth to my images and go for different angles. So, for that though, I prefer using a hide so I'm causing the least amount of disturbance to the animals. I'm gonna find a good place to jump this wall Put up a hide somewhere in here. All right, that's us over on the other side. And as you can see behind me, it's a line of trees. And they use this as a passageway. It's a little woodland corridor between the feeding station and little woodland behind here, just grab the hide and find a good location up here. Now I'll leave the hide here. I'll have a little bit of a scout ahead just to see if I could find a better location. Okay, I've gone a bit closer to where they're feeding them. The feeding station is about 15 meters behind me here. If I get a lot more little branches and things like that, that'd be quite interesting for the squirrels to sit on. I can capture them on there. And also potential for backlit images here. So this looks good. The neighbor who feeds the squirrel here, he let me have the tray of squirrel a feed this morning, which is loads of nuts and seeds. So I'm putting that around a little bit closer to the hide, so you might attract them even more. And right away, just one came, started feeding in the pine tree in front of us, dropped the nut, went down, squirrel, searched the ground, and then up in a tree right next to us here. The sun is going to rise behind me. I mean, it's already. It's already after sunrise, but there are a bit of clouds out and there's also a forest and some hills behind me So it might take a bit longer before it actually breaks through Hopefully it will break through and that we don't get complete cloud cover So I'm using the 
the plus hide from Tragopon, which is the ideal pop-up hide that is, you know, folds up so small. It's a great one if you're walking far distances or anything like that to take with you and just kind of basically just pop up anywhere. Um, the way it's set up, it's quite, you know, it's a simple structure. I'm using the Tragopan chair to sit in here, but it's quite high, so you could sit in a higher chair as well. In front of me, I've got my setup here, the uh, mesh um, in the window, and I've got my tripod, just legs sticking out the bottom one here. I can also get down low and shoot down that bottom window if I want to. Um, along the sides here, there's windows that open shoot out that kind of mesh. We have that on both sides here, so that's the option to do that. And also behind me, which I'm quite excited about here, because as I said, the sun is going to rise behind us here. So it means that if I shoot out that way, I can get some backlit squirrels, which would look really cool. Uh, and for that, you can take down the window, which has a mesh on it. So I'm still kind of hidden. I just cover that behind me up. Open this and put my lens right out here. So I'm hopeful. You see behind me there, we got a pine tree, we got a log lying there. And this is where now, very soon, we're going to get the sun coming through those trees behind us there. enjoying just using the landscape, using what's here to, to just to create the best images because I am kind of stuck in this position in the hide. There's a twofold and a thing about the hide that I get to be this close, they're not disturbed, which is great. Um, then the other thing is that I'm a little bit constricted to where I can't move very much side to side. So it's very much about just following the squirrels around and as soon as they get into a position where I can use what's uh, what's around them, use the landscape, use the twigs, branches, trees, whatever it is, in my composition, or to kind of blur out parts of my image, that's uh, that's a lot of what I'm doing here. try and mix it up a little bit so we're gonna try this window and there's not much room to lie down in here so I'm gonna have to curl up all right so I set myself up here so that I can lie down the only problem is that I have to leave the back open Ideally for this project, uh, I should have had a more versatile height, so maybe the Monal or the the Tragopan V5 with the extension like I had on the um, Barnacle Keys last month. Because then it would be a little bit easier shooting down low as well. This is a great hide because you can bring it with you almost anywhere. It's so light, it's so small, and it pops up really fast. 
but the downside is this if you want to take pictures low you know you might have to open up the back or at least curl up and I found that curling up was way too hard I I'm about 185 and I can't do that so I'm just gonna open up the back and hope that they come back Was brilliant. Uh, got a good few shots of them down here on the ground. It just creates such a different mood in the images. So I'm well happy with that. And I think I'm happy enough that I'm going to call that today. That's been it for this video. And I'm going to announce the competition when I come home. So let's switch to that now. All right, it's competition time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching these videos and to all the new subscribers, we really appreciate that. Um, so thank you very much. And to begin this competition, uh, please just like this video and in the comments below, just let us know what you would use the hide for. What, you know, what do you want to photograph um, using a hide? And if you could do us a favor as well, I'll provide a link in the descriptions below and if you follow that, it will take you through to a little promo video for this YouTube video. And if you could share that on your Facebook page, that would we would really appreciate that. And basically, that's it. You're then in the competition. We'll draw a winner, and this is open to anyone in the world. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you are, as long as you're not off on a far remote island or Antarctica or something like that. We will ship it to you for free. And the hide you can win is the Tragopon V4. And that's the one that came before the V Plus and the V5. And it's a pop-up hide, four windows to shoot around whichever window suits you. So it's quite a versatile hide, easy to take with you. For everybody else, there's a 10% discount code in the shop. And this is a recurring thing that we'll be doing in our video. So it's a good idea to just subscribe, hit that bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. The code for this uh, video here is Red Squirrel 10 That's capital R, put it up here. And that expires on the 15th of February and we'll give you guys a new one in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Good luck and see you in the next YouTube video.